And now we need to unwrap the ears, which are these handle type ears. So we can do it down the middle again, just by marking the edges in the middle. And this is the most simplest way you can do it. You can do more complex unwrapping, but that's entirely up to you. I just like to keep it simple in the beginning. It's easier for me to explain, especially in the videos. And then later on, when we get to the more complex characters, I can actually explain that much better because we've already had a foundation and a base of what I've been doing. And it'll make a lot of sense if you've been following along. So mark that seam. On the left side, you can see there's three UVs, two curved ones, and this one circular oval looking one is most likely the ones at the top and bottom. I guess it would be the holes. And you can always select that UV and highlight it to see if it's correct. So I'm selecting these faces here to see if I need to cut this some more or mark some more seams. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. So the one we marked the seams for is the two curved ones on the right of the texture and then the circular one is the handle ears that we didn't mark the seam at all this side is the circular one and you can see it being highlighted on the left side so we need to mark this seam as well i thought the mirror modifier was still on so we didn't need to unwrap both sides so that would have been a more smarter thing to do by having the mirror modifier on and you just mark the seams for one of the ears and then you'll have the UVs for both sides and then you would apply the mirror modifier. I always mess up the order. Sometimes I just apply the modifiers and I forget I need to unwrap later on anyways. So that's something that I've been working on to make sure that I'm not inefficient, but I tend to forget because I'm excited to just see it being applied to the other side and seeing the entire character design. That's why we have to unwrap this twice. 